Hey guys, Patton1979 here. I just want to make a quick video with some new stuff that I have. So this is going to be mostly fishing, uh, fishing gear. So I did just receive today, like in the last hour, I went to the mailbox and I uh, got myself a little surprise. So uh, these are some Whopper Poplar 75. So uh, I wanted these lure for a long time. Uh, ever since I see the NYD uh, kayak, uh, uh, N NID or NYD uh, angler, anyways, uh, kayak fisherman uh, on YouTube is just damn. I mean, these lures, uh, I see them on the internet, I see them catching fish, and you know, I already, already have the regular Whopper Popular 90, I got the Berkeley Chopo, and I just recently got the Savage uh, Gear Smash Tail Minnow, so 100. So I got two of them in perch collars. So, uh, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if I had a choice to go back, I would probably only get one of these because uh, uh, let me tell you a little story. So uh, last day I was fishing, all right? So I was fishing, I had a bass that was jumping on this lure. It jumped like uh, twice on this lure and missed. You just saw the lure flop at the surface. And I don't know why. I mean, if you look, the only thing that has is that the uh, the hook on the back is just a little bit further away and there's a gap in between here. So I don't know if the bass is hitting in between there or way, where it's hitting, but I just, I just don't know. It just, it, it didn't seem to work. So after two attempts on this lure, uh, same spot, I had thrown the lure back twice at the exact same spot. Uh, the uh, The bass just, you know, just jumped on it and missed it twice i switched up to the uh regular whopper poplar 90 or the whopper poplar 90 and instantly when it hit the water it just got hooked and i bring it back and you know i i caught the fish so uh probably uh, flash a picture somewhere uh, in this video but i i caught the fish so uh that, that was amazing and that that you know that puts me a little bit in doubt for this one so the Berkeley Chopo uh, same deal I catch fish with the Berkeley Chopo I can't wait to try out the 75 maybe I'll go fishing today and go try it out but uh, I can't wait so I ordered like three in bluegill colors since these are the most popular colors and they're always out of stock so I said since they, they were back in stock I said screw it I'm you know yeah, I'm gonna take three uh, you know uh, uh, three bluegill colors and one T1000 color so I uh, decided to, to order them. They didn't have any perch color, uh, bone. I don't remember if they had bone on stock. So, uh, But the stocks are fluctuating. But uh, basically, yeah, guys, that's it. So uh, I got these four that I am going to compare uh, in a future video. And uh, just if you guys want to know uh, which one should you buy. Uh, for an inexpensive option, the Berkeley Chopo, you can't go wrong with it. So really good lure. Uh, works uh, pretty good. Uh, the uh, Whopper Poplar 90 also is pretty good. Uh, the 75, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to remedy that in the next few days and see if I can catch fish on it. Um, also, guys, I have the uh, Cuda uh, in uh, the micro scissors 3-inch and the bigger version here. So, uh, so these I'm, I'm going to try out. I already tried it out on braid and mono, and I got to say, guys, these things work great they work flawless and they're just uh, they're just great guys so uh yeah so if you want some good scissors and the fact is why i picked those up is because especially the micro or even just the regular uh full uh, well medium size uh, because they, they even get a larger size and these ones i mean uh, the slightly larger i think these are the five inch or six inch uh five inch i think um scissors here are just working great i mean they cut to braid it's just so effortless the micro they cut through as well but they have a little bit of a pop when you especially when you're at the tip they got a little bit of a pop uh, i don't know maybe in the sharpening and maybe if i get another pair of micro to compare it but you know they still cut braid fine they don't fray the braid they don't you know they don't mess around they just cut it fine and if you cut it a little bit towards the end there it's just perfect anyway guys i'm rambling but uh, yeah, so uh, basically uh, two things that I'm going to say about, you know, most of these lures, these three lures here, I'm just going to give you guys a little preview. Um, the Chopo and the uh, Whopper Poplar 90, uh, both of these lures are 
uh, when you throw them far, far away, f so further away, uh, you can almost only use them as a popper. So basically just chugging on them and just, you know, working the tail with some small burst. Uh, why? Because uh, if you try a steady retrieve from a long, from a long cast away, uh, for whatever reason, uh, they go, they dig on the water. So they, even the, the original Whopper Poplar 90, uh, they dig on the water. So uh, basically when you're trying to retrieve, they're just going to go in on the water. They're still going to have the action with the tail, but they're going to be on the water. So that's something that's a little annoying. And that's what I found interesting about the Savage, uh, the Savage Gear uh, Smash Tail is that when you throw it far away and you retrieve it, it just, it just floats and it just you know starts working the action on the tail right away so this is why I was excited about the smash tail minnow but if I keep missing fish on it it's uh, I'm not I'm not any uh, any any further off you know so uh, I'm not any better off so uh, basically yeah guys so uh, some new stuff uh, a little comparison come in and a little review on uh, some CUDA uh, fishing scissors so but basically you get the Berkeley Superline scissors that are like seven bucks and you get like shimano scissors that are like 25 bucks up here in canada so 4.99 for this one 6.99 for this one so this this was a no-brainer to me and why do i have fishing scissors uh compared to let's say just a regular knife well sometimes i go fishing where there's a lot of people in public and in canada well uh knives and stuff like that are not really well perceived so uh, just bringing out some nice little cute scissors. I'm not. I'm not gonna trouble anybody, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cause any panic. So, yeah, a bunch of pussies up here in Canada, guys. So, uh, yeah. So basically, yeah, guys. Uh, sorry for the handheld. Sorry for the outside. If you, there's a little bit of wind noise, decided to do this on my uh, picnic table. So, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this little preview. So this is only gonna be a preview, but you guys get a little bit of information. Uh, if I had to choose between these three, I would go with these two. I haven't tried this one yet, the 75, but I think I'm going to like it. So I'm going to keep you guys informed on uh, which one to get. And um, I'm also going to put a uh, picture. Uh, I'm going to try to flash in a picture halfway in the video to show you guys um, this lure, uh, how it caught the fish. So I don't have uh, videos because I didn't bring any GoPro or stuff like that with me. So I didn't have any videos of the fish missing this one. I only have the picture of me uh, having this uh, instead uh, when I caught it. So basically uh, that's it guys. So yeah, the smash tail, I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to return the, the other one that I got. So hopefully I can do that uh, because uh, it's still like 15 bucks a pop. So for these lures. And uh, for uh, the Berkeley Chopo and the original Whopper Poplar, which I got when I went to the States, uh, it's a good buy. I mean, I would definitely worth the money. I mean, even if that's 15 bucks US, it is worth the money because when you start thinking about Senkos and stuff like that, uh, even though you buy a bag of Senkos, it's inexpensive and it's like two, three dollars or depending which brand you take. Uh, it's usually depending on how you rig it wacky style if you're using something a little bit more resistant like Z-Man lures um, you know zingers and stuff like that uh, you know if you're using just regular yum dingers and you hook them and you don't use any uh, any uh, what's it called the ring the um, the special little rubber ring uh, wacky style ring that you put on it uh you know you're gonna lose fish so uh, you're gonna lose your lures you're gonna lose your your senkos and you're gonna lose your lures. so basically these are stuff that are disposable and they go in the water and they don't uh you know uh, they disintegrate or they don't you know uh, just um, melt away with nature so uh that, that's just pollution so uh but with something like this a whopper poplar uh, if you get it hooked to a, a line and if it's hooked to uh, some good some good line and since you're working only top water the chance of you keeping this lure for years and catching fish on it so basically what I'm saying is in the long run uh, you're better off with something that's gonna catch fish 
for a long time and that you, you're not going to lose versus something that's disposable almost like a Senko. Uh, because you, we all seen, you know, the Guggen Squad and stuff like that. When you, whenever they use a Senko, it's almost like one fish, one, uh, one Senko. So, uh, and it's been for me like that for a little bit. So, unless you rig it Texas style, but most of the time when they're fighting the fish, you know, the lure is just going to pop off. So. That's just my two cents, but you know, I really love these lures, the Whopper Popper style lures, and they've been catching fish. They, they, uh, I, I don't remember if it's the Chopo or the original, but I caught like a big pike on it, so I'm probably gonna flash a, fi a picture if I got one as well when I was kayak fishing. so anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little preview video I know I've been talking a little bit but you know I'm just passionate about it so and I have some new stuff to bring you guys and some future videos so I'll, I'll try to capture it on video where these lures at the distance when you start reeling in uh, they start sinking and uh, this one just floats and start working at the surface so I'll try to bring you guys this video but uh, in the meantime enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one